this is Brian Van and Jeff Gibson from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the all new Technic Chicane Suit. It's all new for 2009. They've done quite a bit of updating to it. The first thing I've noted is that the fit of the suit is, I believe, tighter than it was before, which was good because the suit was a little overly roomy in some areas. As compared to the Violator and the Accelerator, this suit offers still a, a more roomy cut than those do. Understand this is more of a sport riding suit or an entry level track day suit than it would be a full blown race suit. It's a nice suit, it's a protective suit, but it, it doesn't quite live up to the same level that the Violator and the Accelerator do. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Good suit, protective suit, okay, but this is more of a sport riding, you know, entry level track day stuff, canyon riding, safety conscious you know, a street rider type of riding suit. Okay, now that we've moved past that, let's talk about the sizing. Jeff, how tall are you? 5'11", 160 pounds, Skinny. slim and slender build. Slim and slender. Size 40 US. Right now, he doesn't have on any additional armor. It has the back pad that's in the suit, the armor that's in the suit, and that's it. And I'd say it's a really good fit. You've got Absolutely. plenty of room for the additional back protector. No question. We could stick one in there for you. And you could probably get a chest guard in there too. Yep. Not a problem, but the suit fits very well. So, 5'11", I think maybe more like 5'10", actually. 160 pounds, size 40 US. It's a great fit for him. You like the knees, the legs, everything feels good. The knees feel really good. It's a nice solid pocket that your knee can sit to. And one of the bonuses that they've changed with the new suit is they've actually tightened up the legs a little bit. So you get the guys that, you know, are blessed with slightly chicken-sized legs as myself. You can still get a decent fit. Exactly. Right, and if you're a guy with bigger legs, the stretch panels will come into play yep. that are on the inside, and you know it'll allow for that to fit as well. But yeah, no, it is it is a very nice fit. Let's cover the perforation because this one has a ton of it right now. Here, totally perforated panel, perforated here, down to the forearm, the red overlay as well, all through the torso. Okay, this panel here on the legs. If you'll turn around. We have perforation here. The entire back of the arm, the black panel, is fully perfed. We have some perforation back here in the lower back. We have perforation here on the inside of the legs and, of course, stretch panel all the way up and down there, which is basically free-flowing. Got a nice neoprene collar, too, which is a very welcome addition. Makes the suit a lot more comfortable. All right, Jeff, if you want to go ahead and step out, thanks for your help, brother. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this one apart now and give you a good look as we like to from the inside out. This is the blue colorway here, and what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pull the armor from the suit and show you what it comes with stock. It's got a very nice lining in it. It is a fixed liner. It is not removable. Personally, I, I don't really feel that a removable liner is a, is a real feature and or benefit. The reality is if your suit has become uh, a little odiferous, if you will, you need to wash the whole thing because the odor is not just in the liner, it's actually in the leather. Here's the Technic Armor Shield Spine Guard. I mean, this is okay for some street riding. You know, certainly we recommend stepping up to a full coverage CE certified back protector, but this is a great place to start, okay? Normally, if you're going to add a back protector on, you would take this out. If you happen to be really slim and there's some additional room in the suit, even with an add-on back protector, feel free to leave this in there to help take up some extra slack inside the suit. Got a little pocket here for the shoulder armor, a little Velcro. And let's get out the shoulder armor. And this is where we've made quite a big change. This now has Knox CE certified armor in the suit. This is our shoulder piece right here. You guys know how we feel about the Knox. We really are confident that is the best of the best out there at this point in time. Let's go ahead and slide in here and pull out the elbow and forearm armor. And to get to that, it looks like we have to go through the back protector pocket that is sewn into the liner. And they're actually putting the 
elbow armor in an armor pocket that's sewn into the suit in the sleeve, and that's pretty sweet. I'm going to go ahead and feel around in there. I have to distort the armor a little bit to get it to come out of the pocket. You know, and remember, this isn't something that you're going to have to do all the time. So yeah, this is, you know, perhaps a, a little, a little bit difficult. But the only time you'd really do this is if you're going to wash the suit, you know, to try and get it cleaned. You know, otherwise you're never really going to have to remove the armor from the suit. The advanced armor pockets the technique uses are really nice because it holds the armor in place. Here's our Knox CE certified elbow and forearm armor. It's a flexi form. It's good stuff. Very comfortable. Very protective. Very energy absorbing. Let's take a look at that neoprene collar. All the way around the suit. That is a real comfort feature. Excellent, excellent feature. And you don't normally find that on a price point suit like the chicane. And for the knee armor, Let's feel around in here and see if we have to go. For the knee armor, it looks like we're going to have to go in through the back protector access hole again. And once again, that is sewn into. There's an advanced armor pocket that's installed in the suit, and the armor is, is slid into there. So let's go ahead and Got to distort the pocket a little bit to get the armor to start poking out. As you can see, it even comes with knee sliders. I think that's a bonus this year. I don't believe that it used to come with. These are just the sport version of the knee sliders from Technique. and shin piece and there it is right there once again Knox flexi form good stuff for sure we have sewn in here in the rib area a couple of pieces of energy absorbing foam that's nice sewn into the suit itself in the liner a couple of small pieces of, of hip padding you know, we'd suggest with a suit like this, perhaps stepping up to a pair of armored shorts. Um, certainly a big benefit there in, in case you do happen to have an accident. Uh, and let's see if there is, there's a tailbone piece right there, also sewn into the lining. All in all, our opinion of this, we've always liked the chicane. Um, we think it's a very, very nice entry-level suit. For 2009, Technic has added a lot of features we believe really add to the value of this suit making it a great purchase if this is the price point you're looking in. This is the Technic Chicane, all new for 2009 from sportbiketrackgear.com.